guys welcome back to my channel my name is Adiolu thank you for tuning in once again please kindly like share and subscribe and if this is your first time thank you very much please always remember to turn on your notification bell so you can get an update every week when I post a new video so guys in today's class we're gonna be learning how to draft a sketch a skirt is a common thing that we need and we ladies need to wear a skirt so if you really want to sew your own clothes you want to learn to sew your own skirt please kindly follow me and let's learn a lot in today's class let's go ahead guys <music> We'll be needing some items we need a measurement book where you've written all your measurements we need a pencil an eraser a short ruler a tracing wheel which i'll be using to transfer my what i'll be drafting onto another paper a calculator to calculate the measurements and then a tape measure so guys, let's get started. When you want to draft a sketch, ensure you take your client's measurements accurately. The first thing you need to do is to measure their waist, their hip, and their waist to hip. That is, you ask your client where they normally drag their skirt to, because we have some people that actually put their skirt on their tummy. So you need to ask where they put their to um, their skirt on. When you've gotten that, then you measure from that point to where their hip lies. Most people's waist to hip measurement is usually um, 22 cm, but this varies depending on the body type. So it's good to measure. And then you measure the length. This length will also start from where the clients put the skirt on, where they put their skirt on, to the desired length level they wanted to get to. So I haven't done that. I've done my calculation on this book. I've done, I calculated my waist measurement into half and quarter measurement. I calculated my hip measurement as well. You can see I divided it by two and divided it by four, which is the half and quarter measurement you are seeing. The waist to hip doesn't need any calculation and likewise the length measurement doesn't need any calculation so I only calculated the waist measurement and the hip measurement so let's get started what I need to do first is to use the half measurement of the highest measurement on the client's body the highest measurement on this client is the hip so I'm using the half measurement the half measurement is 21.25 so I'm going to get measure that So that's 21.25, 21.25, and then the quarter measurements is um, 10.6, I'm going to mark that here. and the same here so I'll get my long ruler and connect the lines this has to be straight guys please make sure it's straight because whichever way you draft it that's how the skirt will come out to be Okay, 
Okay, I think that's straight enough. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to measure the waist, the cutter waist measurement. The cutter waist measurement is 8 centimeter, 8 inches rather, to keep messing up. So 8 inches. I'm working with inches for this skirt. That's 8 inches. So my skirt, my skirt is going to be having a dart. So I'm going to be adding 1 inch to the 8 inches. That is going to be 9 inches. So that is it here. nine inches okay guys before i continue remember we took the measurements waist to hip which i said is usually 22 cm so i'm going to mark that now when i do it you understand why that is composed okay so we start from the edge of the paper This is 22 cm. I'm working with centimeter for this. 22 cm. 22 cm. And then 22 cm. I want it to be straight. I need to do that all through. 22 cm. So I'll be using my long ruler to measure this through. Okay, so this is the waist, this is the waist to hip line, so this is the hip line, the hip line. The thing we need to do is to mark the cutter waist, which is, which I said is 8 inches, then plus 1, so I've marked that earlier on. This is the nine inches, the nine inches. So that's the nine inches, yeah? I'll do that here as well. So it depending on the amount of that you want to be on your skirt, then you calculate that while you marking your waist measurement. For this skirt, I just need one inch waist allowance, waist that. So that's why I'm, I added one to the eight centimeter. So don't forget, this is the E line, which is 22 cm. It's usually 22 cm, but you can always measure your clients to be sure. So the next thing we need to do now, since I've marked my waist, my cutter waist measurement, is to curve, join this to this E line. The waist to the hip line. So we connect the hip, the waist to the hip using your pattern curve. You do this carefully. did it to the other side as well we connect the waist to the hip so now you can see our skirt is coming to reality so the next thing we need to do after connecting the waist to the hip line the waist to the hip line is to mark out the darts which you added to the waist, if you remember, to the cutter waist measurement. So right now, we're going to divide, to get to where your dart is, we divide our waist, what we have here right now, we divide it into two, which is nine divided by two. So that's why I'll be using my calculator. Nine divided by two, we say it's 4.5. So I'm going to be marking 4.5. 
so here is 4.5 so my dart is going to start here I'm going to do the same for this side it's the same measurement so it's going to be the same 4.5 okay so i haven't done that the length of our dart is usually 4 cm 4 inches 4 inches but depending on how fat the individual is or how the tummy is you need to consider all that so in this for this sample i'll be using 4 So that's length four. So and I'll be using remember we added one inch for the dart. I'll take that out now, which is 0.5 on the left, 0.5 on the right. That makes it one C one inch all together. So I'll connect it to this one, connect this to this line, and then we have the we have the front dart and then the back dart we do the same thing four inch then 0 0.5 to the left 0 0.5 to the right all together one c one inch and then we connect it And then we have our dart. That's our dart. 0.5 inch, 0.5 inch, making one inches all together. The same applies here. The next thing we need to do is to. Some people add it, why some people don't, but it's usually advisable to add your zip allowance so you don't forget while you start, while you cut it or transfer it to. The next paper the, 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 the idea of actually tracing onto another paper is so that you can keep this and keep using it all over so whatever it is you transfer then you can keep changing so if you need to do another kind of sketch just transfer this measurement to another paper then you change it on that one so you can always keep this particular basic sketch that you've drafted so I'm going to do, I'm going to add the one inch zip allowance to the CB as a center back. One inch, one inch, all the way down from the edge of the paper. And then I connect it ensuring that it is straight as well okay and that's we have the zip allowance which is just one inch okay so the next thing which i shouldn't forget actually is remember that our skirt the front part of our skirt we, because of the tummy area, we need to pave way for the tummy, and because of that, we measure 1 cm. This measurement depends on the client's tummy, so consider your client's tummy area before you mark this. Have not marked that, you connect it to the waist. That's because our front CF, that is the front skirt, is usually not straight. The back is straight, but the front has tummy, so it's not straight. And that's that, guys. Now, I will show you how to transfer it. Okay, guys, so I've added another paper down in order to trace this skirt. So before I do that, I wanted to say, I want to say something. Please, always remember to add the sewing allowance at the end of the paper you can do that before you transfer it or do that after you transfer depending on you 
so in this instance i did not add my m allowance i just added my zip allowance and that's the next thing as well this cat is going to be cut um in a straight grain so i need to put the sign if it's going to be cut on a bias grain then you're going to draw the bias grain design so this is a straight grain skirt so guys the next thing is to trace Thank you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Bye for now. See you in the next class.